received info a few days ago from sources and one from popular military blogger Max Montero that there is already a go signal from President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. to start the procurement process by the DND for at least 40 brand new fighter aircraft for the Philippine Air Force to equip three fighter squadrons. This is in line with the approved shopping list for the Rehorizon 3 phase of the revised AFP modernization program covering from 2023 to 2032. Previously we mentioned that the DND has prioritized the acquisition of new fighters for the PAF, to address the lacking air defense and air combat capability to address territorial defense and A2, AD requirements. While funding has been in question, we believe that financing could be made available by all of the vendors including US and Sweden as well as other countries attempting to break in like South Korea, France and India. This would help ease up the capacity of the Philippine to pay for these fighters, while they're in an impending bill in the U.S. legislature for 500 million United States dollars of FMF grants from 2025 to 2029 for the Philippines, which could help ease the cost further. This attempt to procure 40 or so new fighters is separate from attempts to procure second-hand F-16s from U.S. or third-party countries to immediately build a fighter capability, as well as additional light combat aircraft like the F-A-50 Block 20 Fighting Eagle for a separate surface attack aircraft acquisition project. A significant move to bolster the defense capabilities of the Philippines, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. has issued a directive for the Department of National Defense DND, to initiate the procurement process for a minimum of 40 new fighter aircraft. This directive aims to equip the Philippine Air Force with three fighter squadrons, marking a pivotal step towards strengthening national security and safeguarding the country's interests. Fighter aircraft play a critical role in modern warfare, providing aerial superiority, deterrence capabilities, and rapid response to potential threats. In the context of the Philippines, a strategic archipelago each nation with vast maritime borders and territorial waters, having a robust fleet of fighter aircraft is essential for safeguarding sovereignty, protecting national interests, and ensuring regional stability. The acquisition of new fighter aircraft will not only enhance the Philippine Air Force's operational capabilities but also demonstrate the country's commitment to modernizing its defense infrastructure and meeting evolving security challenges. As geopolitical dynamics shift and threats become more complex, investing in advanced military assets such as fighter aircraft is imperative for maintaining a credible defense posture and deterring potential adversaries. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s directive to procure a minimum of 40 new fighter aircraft signifies a strategic commitment to enhancing the Philippines' defense capabilities and readiness. By equipping three fighter squadrons, the Philippine Air Force will be better positioned to conduct air defense operations, aerial patrols, and rapid response missions across the archipelago. Furthermore, the procurement of new fighter aircraft will not only boost the morale and effectiveness of the armed forces but also foster interoperability with allied nations and regional partners. Strengthening defense ties and capabilities through the acquisition of advanced military equipment demonstrates the Philippines' commitment to upholding peace, security, and stability in the region. The process of procuring 40 new fighter aircraft for the Philippine Air Force poses several challenges and considerations that must be carefully addressed. These include technical specifications, budgetary constraints, logistical requirements, maintenance and support infrastructure, and training for aircrews and ground personnel. Ensuring transparency, accountability, and efficiency in the procurement process is essential to prevent delays, cost overruns, or potential issues related to the acquisition of defense equipment. Collaborating with reputable defense contractors, conducting thorough evaluations, and adhering to best practices in defense procurement will be crucial in successfully acquiring and integrating new fighter aircraft into the Philippine Air Force's fleet. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s directive to initiate the procurement process for at least 40 new fighter aircraft marks a significant milestone in enhancing the Philippines' defense capabilities and readiness. By equipping three fighter squadrons, the Philippine Air Force will be better prepared to address emerging security challenges, protect national interests, and contribute to regional stability. As the DND embarks on the procurement process, it is imperative to prioritize transparency, accountability, and efficiency to ensure the successful acquisition and integration of new fighter aircraft. By investing in advanced military assets and modernizing defense infrastructure, the Philippines reaffirms its commitment to safeguarding sovereignty, promoting peace, and upholding security in the region. In conclusion, 
The acquisition of new fighter aircraft represents a proactive step towards strengthening national defense and enhancing the Philippines' role as a responsible regional actor. President Ferdinand Marcos Jr.'s directive underscores the government's commitment to modernizing the armed forces, safeguarding national interests, and ensuring the country's security in an increasingly complex and dynamic geopolitical environment. endeavor to acquire approximately 40 new fighter aircraft for the Philippine Air Force stands as a distinct initiative, set apart from the concurrent efforts to procure second-hand F-16s from the United States or other third-party nations. This strategic move underscores the Philippines' commitment to bolstering its defense capabilities and enhancing its military readiness in the face of evolving security challenges in the region. The decision to pursue the acquisition of new fighter jets signifies a proactive approach by the Philippine government to modernize its air defense fleet and ensure the protection of its territorial integrity and national interests. By seeking to add advanced fighter aircraft to its arsenal, the Philippine Air Force aims to enhance its operational capabilities, strengthen its deterrence posture, and respond effectively to a wide range of security threats. The choice to explore the procurement of new fighter jets, distinct from the potential acquisition of second-hand F-16s, reflects a strategic calculus that takes into account various factors such as operational effectiveness, technological superiority, and long-term sustainability. While second-hand aircraft may offer a cost-effective solution in the short term, investing in new fighter jets can provide the Philippine Air Force with cutting-edge capabilities, superior performance, and greater interoperability with allied forces. Moreover, the decision to diversify procurement channels by considering options beyond the United States, such as third-party countries, demonstrates the Philippine government's commitment to exploring all available avenues to strengthen its defense capabilities. By engaging with multiple suppliers and evaluating a range of aircraft models, the Philippines can leverage competition, negotiate favorable terms, and acquire the most suitable platforms to meet its operational requirements. In light of the evolving security landscape in the Indo-Pacific region, characterized by geopolitical tensions, territorial disputes, and emerging threats, the acquisition of new fighter aircraft represents a strategic imperative for the Philippines. These advanced platforms will not only enhance the country's defense capabilities but also contribute to regional stability, deter aggression, and safeguard maritime security in the vital sea lanes of communication. In conclusion, the Philippine government's pursuit of approximately 40 new fighter aircraft for the Philippine Air Force, distinct from efforts to procure second-hand F-16s, underscores a forward-looking approach to enhancing national defense and security. By investing in cutting-edge capabilities, exploring diverse procurement options, and prioritizing operational effectiveness, the Philippines is poised to strengthen its defense posture, safeguard its sovereignty, and contribute to regional peace and stability in the Indo-Pacific.